What's going on guys, Matthew Monas here. And as you know, I'm a pretty big slob. If you've seen pictures of my studios, there's cables and dirt and dead flies all over the floor. So when these guys reached out to me and said, Matt, we have a vacuum that has maximum suck, is gonna clean everything up. I was like, okay, let's check this out. I wanna see if this can clean my floors. Well, this here, my friends, is the Roborock S5. This is a company that's been heavily invested in by Xiaomi. The, they had their original Xiaomi Mi robot sucking vacuum from last year, but they improved it to make it much better. It's a great size, about the size of a sweet tasting apple pie. Everything you need to clean your vacuum is inside the top lid. You have your dustbin, which is easily removable. She even lets you know when it's gone. You have your brush to keep things nice and clean. And on the front, you have three buttons to control the vacuum itself. This button spot cleans, the power button turns it on or off, and this one will notify you or allow it to go back to its charging base. Plus, if I push this right now, it's gonna let me know the dustbin is not inserted. Error nine, install the dustbin and the filter. She may look pretty, but she also has a lot of brains. So this is the bottom of the device. As you can see here, we have two brushes for maximum suck. This one allows the suction of the dirt and the other one over here spins in order to move the dirt to the maximum suck brush. Two wheels. These wheels are very special because they're thick, they're big. They have a nice up and down system that they utilize in order to get over distances or heights of about two centimeters. So if it needs to get on a thick piece of carpet, it will do it. Let's say you have some framing on the floor, it will go over it. Overall, it's a great little system. The front, this plastic piece goes in and out in case it hits furniture or something that's breakable. This way, it allows for like kind of like a cushion pushing. So how does this actually work? Well, once it's going, it traverses along the edges of the room and uses lasers to scan the area. Once the area is scanned, it starts moving in a Z pattern in order to provide maximum efficiency. This way it goes up and down and up and down and up and down to get all the dirt that's in the area. I literally sat there for one hour and watched this vacuum do its thing. It was very, very fascinating. I didn't think I was gonna get fascinated by watching a vacuum. I watched it go over bumps. I've watched it go in and out of cables. I watched it go on top of a carpet and all of a sudden just start going even crazier to get that maximum suck. I saw it go back off the carpet and continue its pattern across the entire room. By the time this thing was done, and this is in a 5,000 square foot home, I had a crazy map drawn on my smartphone. I basically saw the exact area that it went. It showed me where furniture was. It showed me exactly what the rooms were like. Overall, I was super impressed. Now you're probably wondering, what happens if it gets stuck? Well, a couple of things happen. It will try to get out by itself, but for whatever reason, if it can't, it will send you a notification. Once you get that notification, you can either go home, move it yourself, or use the controls on your smartphone to manually do it. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it will get out. Other times you have to go home and actually do it. Now, to be honest, I've only seen this vacuum get stuck once and it literally went into a pile of cables. I've seen it go over other cables and it had no problems getting out, but sometimes you just don't get lucky. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, is this a loud vacuum? Well, there's a bunch of different settings you can play with and the default setting that it's on is balanced. And I'll be honest with you, it's about 50 to 55 decibels, which is well, not too loud, but it is noticeable. If for whatever reason that's too loud for you, you can reduce the setting to quiet mode. All it does is stop sucking as hard as it was before on balance mode. You can even increase it to maximum suck at turbo, so it really gets everything, but you will reduce the amount of battery life. And quite honestly, who cares if you reduce the battery life because when it gets low, it returns to the docking station, recharges, then continues where exactly it left off. Now you're probably wondering, what happens when it goes on carpet? Well, it automatically detects that it's carpet and increases the suction. And then as soon as it goes off the carpet, it returns to its current state. Probably the coolest feature about this device is the fact that this robot vacuum has a mopping feature, which is insane for something that vacuums by itself. You get a bunch of accessories that comes with this device. An extra filter, but you can still wash the one inside of here as many times as you want. The mopping pad, which basically is placed on top of the bin that holds the water. The water's filled up on this side. You have two filters inside of here. Once those are done, you have some replacements that come inside of the box. Basically, the way it works is once you slap this pad on, on the top right here, you put it underneath the Roborock and it slides right in. 
Once it's in, you can activate the mopping feature through the phone. You can set specific zones that you want it to mop because let's face it, some of us live in a house, we have carpets everywhere. We don't want this to mop our carpets. So once you set the specific zone, the vacuum itself will go there, it will mop it and then return to its base. Now to control the vacuum, you gotta download the app. It's called the Mi Home. Once installed, this is the way you set up the vacuum itself. It uses your Wi-Fi network and basically you can access it from anywhere in the world. I like this. I don't got a lot of friends. I'm at work. My vacuum talks to me, tells me it cleaned my home. I get excited when I get a notification from it. Basically you click on it, it will connect directly to the vacuum and the vacuum will let you know exactly what's going on. So right now I have a map of my basement. This is where it lives. Those dark blue spaces are furniture or stairs. So this right here is one of my units. I can see that the vacuum has already scanned that area and went around it. On the bottom, you have the go option to start it, dock to bring it back home, clean to clean the entire area and zoned cleanup. I like this feature. This basically allows you to create these little squares and areas that you want the vacuum to clean. So the vacuum will go there, clean it, go back home. You can also add up more than one zone. So let's say, that's not enough. I can add a second zone over here and then it will clean both specific areas. Other cool features. If you go into the actual menu settings, you can play with the vacuum settings. So if I want to turn carpet mode on or off, I can do that, which basically changes the suction and detects the carpet if it sees one. If I go back, I can go between different cleaning modes. So I have mop modes when I install the mop feature, quiet if the, I think the vacuum's too loud or if there's a baby sleeping, and then maximum suck if I want everything cleaned up in the entire place to its maximum capacity. But again, remember, battery life duration will be toned down. But I think the most interesting software feature is the cleaning history. I have all the different locations in the house that I've basically cleaned. For example, the other day, the vacuum spent over 110 minutes cleaning my entire basement. You have to remember, this is a big basement, around 2,500 square feet. So all those white lines that you see going back and forth is the Z pattern of the vacuum going up and down, getting every specific portion of the house. So that pretty much wraps up my first impressions of the Roborock S5. This vacuum is under $500 and performs better than the majority of the competition. I was thoroughly impressed, my house got thoroughly cleaned, and it provided maximum suck. Now listen, if you wanna check it out, I'll place links in the description down below. I suggest you do because it's gonna be, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a vacuum better than this one at its price point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, please, Come on Discord, talk to me. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes and I will see you guys in the next video.